Welcome back. It may be officially summer, but we've been having some cloudy weather as late, but that doesn't mean you can't have a tan. However, sun tanning is dangerous. It's damaging. So the better choice is self tanner and here with some recommendations of both of those is beauty blogger Jody Manis. Welcome back to New Day. Thank you. So good to be here. Super excited. So we do always need uh, our sunscreen to protect us from the sun and yep. then we need our self tanner to make us look like we did love the sun, but without damaging our skin because yep. especially as we get older are you seeing the like weird crinkles everywhere from the sun damage not okay no okay. so okay let's start here what have you got first yeah well i think my mirror's been lying to me lately because i've been seeing some wrinkles so part of the issue is when it comes to sunscreen we have to remember that you need a 30 spf at minimum, okay. and if you've had it for longer than three years, it's probably time to let it go. The oh. FDA says a, a sunscreen has to last in its original strong suit for at least three years. So if you do not have an expiration date, put a little label on it so you okay. know when you got it. Perfect, All right, perfect so advice. So one thing that people overlook a lot is their hair. You have got to use some sort of sunscreen on your hair because you can have some sun damage and you'll see it in the way of split ends, dryness, in dullness, yes. So Orbe has, it's just called Invisible Defense and it's also good as a heat protectant is and it? adds shine. Okay. Yes, it's a new product for them. I love it. All right, when it comes to your hands, this is a telltale sign of our age. Mm -hmm. So I like to keep this color science in the car because you can very easily take it out, put it on your hands while you're driving to help protect your skin from being sun damaged. That I have genius. this in every and that's car. Just, it's a powder, it's just it's for a powder. your hands though? Yes, I use it for my hands. No, it is for everything. Oh, Some okay, I was like, so if you uh, need to get a little shiny, okay. Yep. okay. Perfect. Yep. So, and this that. is really important, especially if you're stuck in traffic, like that, that never happens here in Seattle. Never. But, you know, on one side of your face or the other, so that's important. Okay, perfect. Then we go to our face. So you want to have a sunscreen, obviously, on your face. And sunscreen goes after your serums, before your moisturizer, in terms of your layering. After serum, before moisture. Okay. Yep. And this is a really nice one by La Roche Posay, and they also have one that's in SPF for your body. Okay. Now, now this is a question I always have because they say you have to reapply sunscreen every. Uh, however long the time is, every hour, every whatever. Uh, obviously I can't because I have the makeup on, so is this kind of a good option for that? It's perfect, especially okay. if you work outdoors or you sit in, in an office where you have sun coming in through the window, mm -hmm. then absolutely. Now, there's also good BB creams, and BB creams also have protection, mm -hmm. hydration, and coverage. So if you don't want to remember how to layer, a good BB cream will okay. should have at least 30 SPF. Yeah, which this I, is I actually one of my wonder favorites. if any sunlight is getting through the mayor, layers of makeup I have on my face. Yeah. There are many. <laughs> I tried hard to not let any come through today. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, self tanners because I think this is the hardest thing for all of us to find like, the right one the one that works the one doesn't make us look too streaky or too orange or too brown you know like something that makes us yep. look good I have used this one for years this is an amazing one this is the one I recommend a lot because sun tanners can sometimes be damaging to your skin in terms of drying your skin yes this has a moisturizer in t as well as mm -hmm. and it comes in a lotion and it comes in a Foam. Now I've done a little homework, a little research for you guys oh, today. Okay, let's see. So this. Oh, look what you did for us. I know. This is what. This is how I'm gonna. This is how I love you guys. Okay. So this is one day of this natural glow. This one is. This one is. Okay. This one, which is my personal favorite, is this one, and it is a foam. Okay. One day, and then this one is the one that I'm gonna share with you right down here, and that's for the face. Oh. Because, and I that one's especially for you. You're gonna love that. Oh. I'm going to try this. Yes, you add a few drops into your moisturizer, <gasps> and the more drops you add, the darker it becomes. So it's very customizable to your unique needs, and because you're mixing it with moisturizer, your skin is not going to dry from it. So And because and it's, it's Clarins, you know it's going to be a good product. Yes. The other thing when you do your face is I always recommend that you mix your lotion, whatever you're going to put in moisturizer, okay. a few drops of this, and then put it on with a, a brush? dedicated brush. This oh. is how I do my self-tanner on my face and down my neck. <gasps> Just to make sure that you get all those little nook and crannies that we have, and as we age, there seems to be more. There is more. Yes, so <laughs> I always recommend doing that. Okay. And then the question I get a lot of is how do you do your back? And I just remind people that you just want to take a nice little back, so it's soft, it's not a scrubber. Put some self tanner on Where it in two different places. Where did you places. find that? This comes from um, a company called B Tan. You get it in a little kit with your very soft mitt. Yep. And just put it on here in two spots, and then there you go. If you're home and you don't have anybody to help you, then. Nobody helps me with my stuff. Susie, are you seeing this? 
She's shaking her head because we've both been like, hey, listen, does it look like that on the mix? Yeah, and there's areas that you just want, you know, you I, my thighs. Want, you know, I yes. can do that on my yes. thighs. You don't sometimes want, you know, you're, whoo. Yeah, so you right. do it all by yourself. So <laughs> that is one of my favorite little tips. That is amazing. Yes. Okay, I've got to get this, Clarence. This looks amazing. I Thank you so much for doing Look at this one more time. You know, that's I my, have to say, this is how much she loves us. She I put love the you guys. three different teams. I don't know if you could see. Can you see that, y'all? Hopefully that comes through. All right, okay. so that is this one, the natural glow. Yep. That is the foam and that is the face step. Okay. Yep. Speaking of, you know, our skin, skin tones and different colors, you have a new book that you have written and we are so excited and happy for you. The book is called, What Color Is Your Rainbow? Tell me about the story. Yeah, it's a great story. I lived, growing up on the West Coast, I moved to Atlanta, to the South, and I just was not aware of the cultural um, lack of awareness and acceptance talked about on the this. South. Yes. yes, and so I wrote that children's book really just to help people understand that everybody is unique, like mm -hmm. the color of a rainbow, but but when you put all the colors together, only something as beautiful as a rainbow can come from that. Mm -hmm. So it's just a good reminder, it's a children's book, to say, all right, how much color is in my life? Do I really have something as beautiful as a rainbow? Or am I kind of just, you know, limited and, and, uh, and people have hearing aids or wheelchairs or mm -hmm. whatever makes them different is exactly what makes them so special and unique. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great way to remind kids that there's just diversity and there is so much to be gained from meeting people that don't look like you and I love it. Such a sweet book. I love the illustration as well. This is just an amazing thing. Thank you for sharing this with us. Oh, I love it. I'm so glad that you have that out there um, and it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for taking the time to do all this research for us. It really means the world to us. Good. Happy to do it. Always all right. good to see you. Thank you. All right. Well